back to the Off Grid family. Today we're going to be making a grow light for the jackfruit. It has sprouted up and looking beautiful, I'll show you pictures of that in a minute. And it needs more light, I live in Wales, we don't get any, you know, we get sunburnt from our light bulbs, you know. Anyway, before I start that I'd like to talk about um, two things. Number one I'd like to thank Media War UK, they've been our Patreon since January. And I haven't given them a thank you or anything, and I feel really bad about that. But I just want to say thank you so much. Every penny helps in every different way. I've started a GoFundMe project for various reasons. And if you'd like to have a look into that and see if you'd like to help us um, with any of that, just click up here now. Also, if you have a look down in the description if you'd be interested in helping us out at all. Wes Zabrowski is the first person to help us financially with that and I would just like to say thank you so much. It means the world to us to have any kind of support. So, you know, actually giving us financial aid just blows our mind. So thank you to both of you guys. Now, to some bad news. I did this video yesterday. I spent six and a half hours doing step by step how to do all of it and I found that None of it had recorded. Um, every time I checked to play back and stuff, it was there, but it was a dodgy memory card. I bought it from the UK at an extremely high price, and unfortunately, it is a dodgy Chinese one. So if, well, I've emailed the seller, and if they get back to me I, and give me a full refund, I won't name and shame, but if they haven't given me a full refund, then their name will be somewhere up here, because I, I'm not spending, I spent nearly £15 on a 32 gig memory card, which is not cheap. And um, basically, it's about between 2 and 4 gig. Um, and it's, yeah. Okay, this is what we're gonna, I'm gonna talk you through making. And basically, all it is, um, I've made a few of these in different videos, but this is just a smaller version of the grow lights. And this will go on something just above the jackfruit. I'm not entirely sure what yet. Probably, temporarily, I've got it on a bottle. I've got a big water bottle and I've just cut the top, a bit off the top and plonked it down there. Um, and I'll show you all up and running. What I've done at the moment is I've got a 12 volt car battery connected to a solar panel and that goes to the grow light. So it's actually charging the battery from the solar panel and it's doing the, um, it's powering the grow light. It's all tr quite straightforward. It's a trickle charger, meaning it only trickles power in as the power's going out. But I'll show you that whole setup in a minute. Let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so this is my temporary setup. As you can see, it's not the, not the best, but we've got um, a trickle charger going to the battery. And then from the battery, we've got the negative and positive going to our red and blue LEDs and they're just being held above the uh, plants by this beautifully made cut out bit of bottle. I know, genius. So let's have a look at how the LEDs are put together and we'll look at the jackfruit as well. This one is, oh, this one's the one that's grown the most so far, as you can see. Quite impressed. I didn't. I honestly didn't know if they'd even germinate. But um, this one and this one were the ones I didn't cover again with soil. As you may remember, I did an experiment to see if covering them again would be any good or whatever, because I hadn't covered them um, deep enough. I hadn't planted them deep enough. So maybe I made a mistake. But you know. Who cares? Who knows? But as you can see, anyway, this is just a bottle I've cut a bit out of so I can get the plants in and out. And then I lay the um, the light on top. Let's have a look at the light now. Okay, so here's the grow lamp. And it's, slight, it's set up slightly differently from the other ones I've made in the past. It's actually in series, meaning that before I've made it in parallel where there's two wires coming from each one down to the next and so on all the way down. This one, the... Power, the current, well, the, the electricity goes down it this like that. So what I've done is I drew lines to sort of make them, forget, hide that one, to sort of make them in the right places. There was 11 lines, and so I did 
two red, one blue, two red, one blue, two red, one blue, and then two red. Basically, there's about double the amount of red as there are blue. And then what I did was I stuck them all down, making sure that all the writing was the same way up. It makes it a lot, lot easier when it comes to wiring it up if you do it that way. And then, once it had all been um, stuck down the right way up, I soldered a piece of wire to the positive and negative, and then brought it down to the positive and negative of this one. Then, go along to the, the other side, positive and negative, all the way to the positive and negative, and along. And basically, I just kept doing that all the way along. So basically, it's like a big snake. And that way, it this because it's so small, I thought I'll do it in series, and then it won't take too much power. So yeah, I've done this one in series, so it goes all the way down like a snake. And then I glued all of the contacts just to make sure. Another thing I did, which you don't have to do, you can power it by putting a positive and negative at this end, or a positive and negative at this end. I actually put the positive on the positive here and the negative on the negative here and that was just for heat dispersal. I find if they're both next to each other sometimes they can actually get quite hot. So it was just a just a um, preference thing on my part. And then all I've done, I've taken the wire and I put it behind the board and just glued it in place just to, just to make sure that it doesn't, if it gets pulled by mistake, it's not going to actually pull the wires out or anything. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple to do. And because I've got it connected to a 12 volt battery, which is connected to a trickle charger, it should stay lit for quite a while. Um, the amount of power that this is taking is more than the um, solar panel will recoup, but it means that, say, at night, I can unplug it, um, let the battery charge over the beginning part of the day, and then um, do it, put it on again. So they won't get a full day's worth of light after a while because the battery will be too low. But I could swap it between batteries and have different chargers on if I wanted to. But I'm not that bothered. I'm just trying to give the jackfruit just a little bit more extra artificial light. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.